There's no, there is no starting over. You have to remember this. Um, okay, so we've got a lot of guys. We've got a lot of guys that have uh, already planted, and a lot of guys that are looking to plant really soon. We've had a lot of rain across the Midwest, specifically here where we are, but generally across the Midwest. Yeah. Um, what advice would you have, specifically as it relates to um, nitrogen application for guys that you know, maybe maybe for the guy that hasn't planted yet, and then the guy that ha that is uh, that has planted recently? Yeah. So for the guys, for for anybody who's applied nitrogen, you know, at this point you kind of need to reassess the situation. Most of your applied nitrogen, is, you have to come to the realization, is, is gone. It's gone. Um, and so now you need to kind of decide, what's my plan moving forward? Whether you're in the ground or if you're not. Um, if you're in the ground, you know, maybe when you come into side dress, bumping your nitrogen rate up a little bit higher than it was before. Um, maybe possibly thinking about later in the growth stages, um, a broadcast of urea with a timely rain, which, you know, some guys are will shy away from that because of the the possibility of burning some leaves. Uh, there have been studies to show that um, the burning of the leaves is, is a con, but the pros of, of a proper ear fill at pollination is, is well it'll beyond outweigh. that. Yeah, it'll outweigh that. Um, and so for that, that's kind of where you need to look at moving forward. What's my plan of action for applying my nitrogen? Um, is it in a timely manner? Um, and, it, and will it overcome the rainfall and the leaching of nitrogen that we've had so far this year? Perfect. That one felt good. Tacos.